welcome to the Detox Debrief. This is our weekly segment where we get to sit down and discuss everything that we learned and, and gathered from this amazing message that we just heard. Now listen, if you didn't get a chance to watch it, stop the video right now. Pause, click off right now. Go watch this message. It will completely bless your life, completely revolutionize your mind. It was amazing. We talked on the topic of scan me. Did I bless you? Scanning me, yes. Come it, on, yeah. not scamming. Yes, not scamming, no. Uh, we do that <laughs> off camera. But no, uh, okay, no, a thousand percent. It was amazing. But before we jump into that, we just want to quickly introduce ourselves. Yeah. My name is Siobhan Cherie. I am a YouTuber, a preacher, a prophetess, and I absolutely love Jesus with my whole entire heart. I cover all things faith and fashion, Bible and beauty, being snatched and saved okay shameless plug shameless plug but i'm absolutely in love with the detox movement and you should too um and who are you uh, kind okay, sir okay, yeah uh, that's that's gonna be hard to follow but my <laughs> name is eric innocent aka two e's two e's like, whatever you want to call me man in the building um, but, <laughs> <laughs> but no honestly i'm from atlanta georgia um i'm in los angeles my occupation is currently a dental student Are your hosts for today so we're going to just quickly talk about everything that we learned and gathered from this amazing message that we heard now listen if you've been following the detox movement for any length of time we have currently been in a season and a segment and series called the culture code where we've been discussing what it is to really be believers in Jesus Christ we had one week where we talked about new growth another week where we talked about the culture code another week where you know, your girl preached and I talked about the dress code. And then today we talked about, oh my gosh, scan me. Scanning me. So yes. a few things that I wanted, I, that I gathered from it was that all of us have a code, mm -hmm. right? On the inside of us that when we go outside of our four walls that people are scanning us, people yeah. are checking us, Constant. people are examining us. And so sometimes it's okay for us to, it's okay for us to examine ourselves. So do you feel like there's any area of your life right now where you feel like you are examining yourself? Or or have you been in a season where you've been examining yourself? And what does that look like for you? Yeah, yeah. that's so good. I, I think with what uh, we talked about today in terms of scanning yourself, I think it's something that that if, if you really stop and think about it, it's it's nonstop, you know, and that's something that, you know, Pastor Vogel um, spoke about today. And he really said that no matter where you go, no matter the time, the hour, the place, it's just a constant thing that people are doing. And uh, I think there's two levels to it. One, one, people can be unaware, but I think there's power when you are aware of it. Yeah. You start to think about your actions a little more. Yeah. For me, like just to answer that question more directly, I, I started thinking a little deeper as in what are people seeing when they wow. do yeah. And, and is it consistent across the page? So good. So good. Because sometimes as we are human beings, we are multidimensional, exactly. right? So, you know, not that we are Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, but there's some times yeah. where we show different aspects of ourselves to other people. And so he brought up an interesting point earlier where he was talking about, well, if somebody were to scan your code, where would you, where would it lead them to? Yeah. You know, and that was so revolutionary to me it really blew my mind when he said that because it made me think well I have co-workers I have uh, friends I have colleagues I have people who look up to me I have peers I have those who watch my YouTube channel my subscribers shout out to my CC community I have all these people in my life that I'm entrusted to and where am I leading them to because there's sometimes where you don't really want to be, a, yeah. you know, like the persona of a Christian all the time, yeah. you know? And so that, that can be kind of a tough area to navigate. What do you think? Yeah. No, I agree a thousand percent. As you're saying all that, I'm thinking in my mind, like, sometimes it's not a bad thing that, that if sometimes if they, they click on the link, yeah. it sends them to different places. I yeah. always say, you can't send Joel Osteen to the hood, you know, to, <laughs> to, to, to really, you know, uh, to, to, to relate to them. And I right, think right. Uh, certain links should be, you know, placed in certain places to right. lead to certain types of people. Right. In different places. And I think that's why the Lord created us in this day, in this time, in this age, in this culture, yeah. and society, in this type of atmosphere. Here yeah. because there's some of us that you can't tell it like how I could tell it exactly. because I'm a little bit of hood, a little bit of holy, I'm a little bit of righteous, a little bit of yeah. ratchet, yeah. a little bit of a lot of snatch, but a lot more saved, you know. <laughs> and so, here's my thing it's like, you know, there's there is a certain amount of people, there's a certain people that we're assigned to, exactly. and so it's like being consistent across the board, and that is where we go. 
come to the point of testing ourselves. Exactly. This is what he was talking about earlier. He was talking about testing ourselves. And so for you, what does testing yourself look like? Yeah, I think, man, it's, it's, such, a, it's such a simple question, but so complex. It, isn't you know it? I mean? Oh my like, gosh. You can peel yeah. back the layers on that. I think for me, when it comes to like testing myself, I always say that, that, that it, it always should be filtered through the word of God, ultimately. Always, course, always, you know? but, yes. But sometimes so good. I never want to be in an environment where, of course, you have to adapt to your, to your, what's the word? Environment. Environment, yes, right? Of and, course. But, but you also don't want to lose yourself to a certain right, degree. Right, right. And so for me, if I can at least filter it through the word of God yeah. and see that I'm checking off the boxes, yeah. I think in terms of testing myself, yeah. hopefully I can show myself improved. Yeah, yeah. And I think that I've been uh, journeying through this myself. Yeah. I, I mentioned this before um, in one of our after chats. Mm. I was talking about the concept of adaptability versus authenticity, mm. where sometimes given the environment that we're in, that we will morph, we will mutate, we will camouflage ourselves exactly. into whatever yeah. is suitable for um, that time, place, or person. Right. So yeah. we will find ourselves in a position to where yeah. we adapt so much yeah. that we lose a piece of our authenticity. Yeah. So a part of testing yourself is showing up as your full exactly. self. And so, um, you know, not dumbing down your gifts, mm -hmm. stop acting like you're not anointed when you know that you are. Mm -hmm. Don't act like you're not smart if you do know the answer. Like, yeah. like really showing up as yourself. And I think the only way we can truly see ourselves well is when we look at ourselves through the lens of God's word, yeah. through the lens of what the Lord thinks about us and our identity in him once we find identity in him then it's easier to navigate and 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 move through these different spaces as our full self you know I have actually a question so has there ever been a chance or a moment in time where that's been a little difficult right what do you do oh gosh it's so difficult yeah. especially being a woman in ministry it's very very difficult because yeah. um, people expect you to be one way one all the way, time all and there's a part of me that is goofy and silly and yeah. personal and and that's just my personality yeah. and then there's another part of me that is prophetic and strong in the spirit and that loves the Lord and fast and pray and and seeks after him diligently you know and so to merge those two different spaces has always been kind of difficult for me especially like I love fashion but yeah. you know also I believe in the art and the practice of modesty so yeah. it's it's constantly a balancing a act it's a fine walk. line yeah. that I'm always walking all the time yeah. but I think that again constantly bringing myself into alignment with God's word. And if anytime I'm straying against that, I do what Pastor Bogle talked about today in the message where he talked about, you have to yeah. examine yourself. Exactly. Take a moment because the rest of the world is examining you. So you might as well take a moment to examine yourself. I take a moment and, and take a hard look at myself and have a hard conversation with myself. And I say what David said, search me, oh God. And if you find anything on the inside of me that's not like you, then take it out. And so that that was a hard season of my life of saying, Lord, take it out. Like take out the addiction, yeah. take out the depression, take out the attitude. Come on, yeah, take yeah. it out that's of real. me because I want to be closer to you. I want to be a vessel that is ready and willing and available to be used. Yeah. And so I had to go through that season of yeah. search me, no, scan me, yeah. examine me. It's it's tough, but it is so necessary. So so necessary. Well, you know, you guys, we really enjoyed this conversation with you guys. And listen, this is going to be happening every single week. This is your weekly dose of the Detox Debrief. If you enjoyed this and you said, you know what? I feel like I'm being fed here. I enjoyed this candid conversation and I want to be involved. Listen. We want you to go ahead and interact with us in the comment section below. Tell us, share with us, let us know what did you gather from this sermon? What, what blessed you the most? What did you gather from this conversation that really helped you out? And also you guys feel free to like, um, add us on Instagram. Yeah. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and leave our Instagram names down below if you want to follow us. And also follow the Detox Movement on Instagram, Facebook, and all of the social media platforms. You don't want to miss out on what no. the Lord is doing in this Amen. ministry. Do you have any other final thoughts? No. Honestly, everything she said, ditto. <laughs> <laughs> you know the vibes. You know the vibes. You know the vibes. Well, until next time, you guys, remember that you are blessed. You are beautiful and you are detoxified by God's amazing grace. Until next time, peace. Hey family, thank you for joining us today. We pray that that word was a blessing to you. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, or prayer requests, please email us at the detox movement at gmail.com. And if you would like to sow into this ministry, 
you can text the word GIVE to the number on the screen. Family, above all things, we want you to know that you are loved, that you are blessed, and that you are beautiful. And most importantly, you are detoxified by God's amazing grace. And until next time, family, remember, Jesus loves peace. God bless you.